I mean, just since I played receiver so much in high school, it felt good touching the ball that many times in a game again. It just like made me feel like I could bring back out my athletic ability that hasn't like went away or anything. Were you the first option on that touchdown pass there at the end of the half? Oh uh, yeah, that's what the play is designed for. It just depends on the coverage. But as soon as I saw that it was man coverage, I knew the ball was coming to me. You guys studied the film of Boston College defense coming up this week in their linebacker, especially their Mike. He seems to be pretty active. Um, yeah, the whole defense that. looks uh, really talented. Uh, we haven't really looked at him yet. That's what the meeting this afternoon is going to be about. But um, we're really just going to zoom in and just focus on them, uh, see their tendencies and stuff like that, and just try to devise a game plan for it. But I thought it would come out on top. It's going to be a good competition for us going against the number one defense. And uh, I'm just excited to see what this offense will do. What do you think about Coach Sweeney's rant the other night? I thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, I didn't hear about it until I got home. I just plugged it up in the car and just listened to it on the way. But it, it was pretty sweet. I mean, just I, I, feel, I feel like that word just triggered something in his head. And he just, I don't know. None of us like the word, so he just spazzed on whoever said it. But. When, you, when you see your coach do that as players, do you guys then kind of, does that make you play harder for him and stuff like that? It just gives us a sense that we know that our head coach has our back. Uh, he doesn't like to take anything from anybody. and. Uh, he just defends us in any situation. If we were to ask any player on this team, they have the approval rating is pretty high that rent. Do I? So, would every player on the team like? Oh yeah, every, I mean everybody liked it. Everybody was talking about it. Like it was pretty. It was funny to us, and it was like kind of like whoa, like we've never seen that side of Coach Twenty before. So it was pretty sweet. Did the, the players hate that word? I mean, you've never lost a game to an unranked team. I just never understood the word. Uh, I mean, just because of how we played for the last couple of years, I just never understood why it's around or like why they used it so often. But it's just whatever. I just don't listen to it. It's just, it's just motivation for me, really. So. You say you never see that side of him. He was about as angry and as close to profane as I think I've ever seen. Yeah, I definitely wish we could have been there. I feel like the players would have gave him a little round of applause, but I, f I felt kind of bad for the dude that asked the question. Uh, but <laughs> well, I guess, that's a nice attitude. Yeah, I guess I guess that's what you get. But, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was funny to all of us. Yeah. But other than raising his voice to get you guys motivated, though, I mean, that was that was he touched on some, some anger in himself, didn't he? I mean, he definitely uh, expresses this towards us, like whenever we do stupid stuff or something like that. But I've never seen him do it towards somebody else. And it, yeah, I mean, it, was, it felt good that it, he wasn't yelling at us. Anymore, so <laughs> it, it was definitely a good feeling. This is the best groove that you've been on with Deshaun Watson so far, as far as like mentally being on the same page, knowing you know kind of how each other is going to be thinking on a given play. I just think that he's got it in his head that I'm the biggest target in this match on the field. So. It just feels good. But yeah, we've been working on routes after practice and stuff like that. We've really been getting our timing down. So it doesn't feel good going out there. Going back to last year, touchdown, a couple touchdowns he threw to you last year. And, and this year, it looks like you know the corner route seems to be the little thing you guys have going on there. Yeah, it's just because um, they're going to either match me up on a safety or a linebacker. But I don't think any safety or linebacker can cover me. It's just, it's just a mismatch problem. I'm a red zone threat. So I just like to take advantage of my size whenever I'm that close to the end zone. Was this a game where you guys were able to kind of run the actual game plan and not just have to take what they gave you? Was, were most of the plays kind of in the game plan what you wanted to do? Uh, we just based it off of how they want to play us, really. So if they want to stop the run, cool, we'll go out there and throw the ball. Uh, but it was just really back and forth. Uh, nobody can stop us from doing anything that we don't want to do. So Is that the is that really the first time you've seen that much man? Um, no, Notre Dame played us a lot of man as well because they had some pretty good athletes. And we're also going to see a whole lot of man this week with, against Boston College. So we'll be ready for it, though. Yeah, so is, is that kind of something you're working a little bit more in practice? I know uh, the tight ends and the receivers, we, we really like it when it's man coverage because it's just like go win your matchup against whoever's trying to guard you. So um, it's definitely exciting for us. They're going to try to take away the run by stacking the box, but we're just going to have to make plays on the outside. Um, I still think we're going to stick to the standards, but uh, we're just going to have to have a lot of playmakers out there on the edge to just go up and get the ball. But um, We played against the number one defense last year, every day of practice, and I think we still have the number one defense. So 
it's nothing different than we haven't seen in practice, and we're just going to practice our hardest this week and just go out there and win. What's different about Boston College, though, when you play these guys compared to the other teams? Just the hype behind them, being the number one team, or the number one defense. And uh, also, they have a bunch of good athletes at linebacker. They're pretty much just bigger and quicker. But uh, I think Notre Dame also had some pretty big and quick linebackers. So it's really nothing new. Uh, it's just all the talk about them being the number one defense, but it really doesn't mean anything to us. What about the physicality? I haven't really seen them up front as much, but uh, like I said, their linebackers are pretty physical. But um, I think we're going to be able to go out there and run the ball whenever we need to. But I'm just talking about in comparison to the last two years you've played them. And when you get them they've, de they've definitely had some big dudes. I remember they had this dude that was about 6'7", 300 pounds, but uh, he's moved on now. But they're always going to be physical up front. They're big dudes always. They're, uh, I mean, they just like to stop the run. That's really their mindset. So. They're, they're going to be pretty good. I feel like they're going to be the same as last year, so we'll see. Has there been a noticeable difference to you in the way the defenses are playing y'all um, because of the, your ability to run the ball effectively? Has, has there, been, there been noticeable um, you know, soft spots in the coverage as a result of that? What do you observe? It just depends on which which poison they want to take. If they want to stop the run, like I said, we're going to throw the ball. If they want to stop the, like us throwing the ball, we're going to run it. But. You really just can't be right with our offense. Like we have answers for everything. So, Sorry, I mean, was there any talk with the coaches like a certain effort to throw the ball, or was that just the way the game went? Coach Sweeney, uh, they, he hates it when uh, people try to play us in man coverage just because of the talent we have out in the edges. So uh, he he said uh, we're called the Air Force whenever he wants to throw the ball to us. So. He just uh, doesn't like it when people try to stack the ball. They just He feels like we're being disrespected out there on the edge. Uh, so he likes to go out there and throw the ball and just take shots every every half. Like, it, But we'll see how it goes. A couple of weeks ago, there was a lot of talk about not receiving respect and reserve. And, and some might say that that came up again Saturday. Um, but you guys, as you won, you've progressed in the polls. Is it an attitude that, that those guys, the winning will take care of the, the business, or do you think you're now beginning to get some of that respect? I really don't think we'll get respect until either we win the national championship or we make it to the playoffs. So uh, pretty much as long as we keep winning, just keep it our eyes, just looking straight ahead, not looking all this hype by the commentators and the analysts. I thought it would be OK. Uh, we have a lot of momentum just being 5-0, and oh, so we're just going to keep it rolling. People think it's uh, – Coach Speak talking about taking it one game at a time, and yet this seems to be the culture here. Uh, speak to that. I mean, just one game at a time, it means uh, any stats from last game is not going to win this game coming up. So basically, we just got to go out there each practice and practice like it's our last practice and just try really hard and just get better at something. So that in the game that we don't know if it's going to be our last or our next game or something like that. So basically, just play the game like it's your last kind of thing. Because if we lose the next game, then it's going to be the biggest game of the year because, oh, Clemson lost to Boston College. So I see what he, I see what he means when he says it, though.